In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Declare me innocent, O Lord, for I have acted with integrity. I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Put me on trial, Lord, and cross-examine me. Test my motives and my heart, for I am always aware of your unfailing love, and I have lived according to your truth. I do not spend time with liars or go along with hypocrites. I hate the gatherings of those who do evil, and I refuse to join in with the wicked. I wash my hands to declare my innocence. I come to your altar, O Lord, singing a song of thanksgiving and telling of all your wonders. I love your sanctuary, Lord, the place where your glorious presence dwells. Don't let me suffer the fate of sinners. Don't condemn me along with murderers. Their hands are dirty with evil schemes, and they constantly take bribes. But I am not like that. I live with integrity. So redeem me and show me mercy. Now I stand on solid ground, and I will publicly praise the Lord. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid ground and steadied me as I walked along. He has given me a new song to sing, a hymn of praise to our God. Many will see what he has done and be amazed. They will put their trust in the Lord. Oh, the joys of those who trust the Lord, who have no confidence in the proud or in those who worship idols. O oh Lord, my God, you have performed many wonders for us. Your plans for us are too numerous to list. You have no equal. If I tried to recite all your wonderful deeds, I would never come to the end of them. You take no delight in sacrifices or offerings. Now that you have made me listen, I finally understand. You don't require burnt offerings or sin offerings. Then I said, Look, I have come. As is written about me in the scriptures, I take joy in doing your will, my God, for your instructions are written on my heart. I have told all your people about your justice. I have not been afraid to speak out as you, O Lord, well know. I have not kept the good news of your justice hidden in my heart. I have talked about your faithfulness and saving power. I have told everyone in the great assembly of your unfailing love and faithfulness. Lord, don't hold back your tender mercies from me. Let your unfailing love and faithfulness always protect me. For troubles surround me, too many to count. My sins pile up so high I can't see my way out. They outnumber the hairs on my head. I have lost all courage. Please, Lord, rescue me. Come quickly, Lord, and help me. May those who try to destroy me be humiliated and put to shame. May those who take delight in my trouble be turned back in disgrace. Let them be horrified by their shame. For they said, Aha, we've got him now but may all who search for you be filled with joy and gladness in you. May those who love your salvation repeatedly shout, The Lord is great. As for me, since I am poor and needy, let the Lord keep me in his thoughts. You are my helper and my saviour. O my God, do not delay. Justice. Do you rulers know the meaning of the word? Do you judge the people fairly? No, you plot injustice in your heart. You spread violence throughout the land. These wicked people are born sinners. Even from birth they have lied and gone their own way. They spit venom like deadly snakes. They are like cobras that refuse to listen, ignoring the tunes of the snake charmers, no matter how skillfully they play. Break off their fangs, O God. Smash the jaws of these lions, O Lord. May they disappear like water into thirsty ground. Make their weapons useless in their hands. May they be like snails that dissolve into slime, like a stillborn child who will never see the sun. 
God will sweep them away, both young and old, faster than a pot heats over burning thorns. The godly will rejoice when they see injustice avenged. They will wash their feet in the blood of the wicked. Then at last everyone will say, There truly is a reward for those who live for God. Surely there is a God who judges justly here on earth. O God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth I cry to you for help when my heart is overwhelmed. Lead me to the towering rock of safety, for you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. For you have heard my vows, O God. You have given me an inheritance reserved for those who fear your name. Add many years to the life of the king. May his years span the generations. May he reign under God's protection forever. May your unfailing love and faithfulness watch over him. Then I will sing praises to your name forever, as I fulfill my vows each day. I wait quietly before God, for my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. So many enemies against one man, all of them trying to kill me. To them I'm just a broken down wall or a tottering fence. They plan to topple me from my high position. They delight in telling lies about me. They praise me to my face, but curse me in their hearts. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation my fortress where I will not be shaken. My victory and honour come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Common people are as worthless as a puff of wind, and the powerful are not what they appear to be. If you weigh them on the scales, together they are lighter than a breath of air. Don't make your living by extortion, or put your hope in stealing. And if your wealth increases, don't make it the centre of your life. God has spoken plainly, and I have heard it many times. Power, O God, belongs to you. Unfailing love, O Lord, is yours. Surely you repay all people according to what they have done. O God, listen to my complaint. Protect my life from my enemy's threats. Hide me from the plots of this evil mob, from this gang of wrongdoers. They sharpen their tongues like swords, and aim their bitter words like arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent, attacking suddenly and fearlessly. They encourage each other to do evil, and plan how to set their traps in secret. Who will ever notice, they ask. As they plot their crimes, they say, We have devised the perfect plan. Yes, the human heart and mind are cunning, but God himself will shoot them with his arrows, suddenly striking them down. Their own tongues will ruin them, and all who see them will shake their heads in scorn. Then everyone will be afraid. They will proclaim the mighty acts of God and realize all the amazing things he does. The godly will rejoice in the Lord and find shelter in him, and those who do what is right will praise him.